Welcome to the Steve and Andy Show with your hosts, Steve Leibel and Andrea Lutz. There. We're live. We're in. That's We're in. It. This We're is in. it. We're doing the thing. <laughs> uh, this is Bruce Edwards, and he was just ac- asking himself a couple minutes ago what the hell he's doing here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really wondering. <laughs> well, we had a cancellation, so we had to fill the spot. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably what it was. It's good timing, though, because we got the Rambler Rodeo coming up. Next. So I didn't know that you were, we were thinking about, like, who should we have on the show and Steve said, well, what about Bruce Edwards? I guess. Edwards. Edwards. Edwards, yeah. 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 And uh, you were available. I tried to get out of it, but it didn't so, work out. So, Bruce, you've been running the rodeo for since God was a child. <laughs> Not that long, but it's been a while. How many years have you been involved with rodeo? Uh, it's been since we came back with the rodeo. We had it back in the 80s and back in 95 we brought it back and uh, there was a couple of two or three years that there was no no rodeo it was just that they had the trade fair and then uh, just the the cab raise why was there no rodeo for those years they they were just trying to save some money they thought they would try to just do the cab raise and the trade fair and and it just wasn't working out there wasn't the traffic around and so they one, uh, we were actually, we were in the Beehive one night. and What were you doing in the Beehive? <laughs> just having a couple pops. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's usually what you do. And uh, we are it was with the Ramblers. We are in there, and I said to Darcy Simino, I said, we should uh, bring the rodeo back. And he said, uh, get some get some numbers for me, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. And that's what we did, and we brought the so what. Ro- what made you think at th- what made you think that that you wanted to bring it back that you wanted to be part of bringing it back? Well, it's just it's a well, I love rodeo and and uh, it's just it's good for the community and we just thought we'd bring it back and it it worked out and it's I think it's it was ninety five when we brought it back so that's like twenty seven years ago. So yeah. So we missed a couple years like last couple years and. But uh, how old would you have been in 95? I can't tell. You got to tell me like eight. Give me a ballpark. Like, are we talking how old? Like mid 20s? Yeah, let's go with that. No, come on. Yeah. Really? It is, right? Mid 20s? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we were having a good time in the beehive. Yeah. We just thought it'd be a great idea. So that's where it kind of got going again. And we have a bunch of real good guys that we work with and. Has it been sort of the same Bones crew since yeah, 95? It has, it who's has. all in, who's all involved? Yeah. In I'd go through the, the the guys that have been Are there. Are you forever. the head honcho? No, I'm well, Neil Elmsley, he's the president now. And we actually, you know what? There's no head honcho. I I we everybody has their job and we do it together and we have fun doing it. And that's we uh, we like doing it. Uh, a lot of our meetings end up. We don't Couple talk. Couple pops. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't talk much about. We have like a, a meeting for five minutes. It's a well-oiled machine. Everybody's got their jobs. They know what they're doing. It's yeah. It goes off without a hitch. So there's there's you, there's uh, Neil, there's the York. Oh yeah, the, the York, York family. Group. They've been involved since the beginning Forever, of time. Yeah. And uh, uh, Trevor Kidney helps you out. Yeah, he's been there. Uh, um, Bob Turnbull, he's a he's a lifer. He's been there. He was back. He was there in the eighties. Um, we w- there's so many guys. I don't even want to start. I don't even. Yeah, I guess don't we don't want to leave, leave anybody, anybody yeah, out. I, I don't want to leave nobody out. But I was just thinking the old Dwight Marlowe. Yeah, Dwight. Uh, he's he's been huge this last few years. He's come on board and and Dean Litzenberger now and yeah. There's there's just lots and. Um, Trudy, Trudy and Elaine. Elaine, they do the trade fair and they've been doing that for a long time. And and they they well they do every fifty fifty at the Rambler game. Do they too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So Oh, they're the best. Yeah. So no, it's it's um we have fun doing it. And uh like we said the other night, Neil was he was saying, Well, maybe I, I don't want to do this forever, but 
when you're in on the rodeo committee, yeah, it's a life. You're yeah. Forever. You're, yeah, you're not. <laughs> you're not getting out of it. You death. Don't get retired. Death. 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 That, well, Maybe marriage, and you got to move away. I didn't want to say that word, yeah. but we yeah. we do say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're yeah. in till you're yeah. dead. Yeah. yeah. That's so. funny. Have you had a lot of younger people wanting to get involved? Or? Yeah, yeah, we have, and actually, we got some new guys coming in. Like, um, they're playing on the hockey team now, and they're getting more involved. And that's we want to see the younger guys get involved, and we see them like on the rodeo weekend. We see a lot of them around, and and then the players they come out to like they're they're there on that weekend, and they help with the bars and all that kind of stuff. So. Right, so the Rambler Rodeo is the Rambler hockey team. Is, that's right. Is what we're raising funds for. Yeah, that's their fundraiser for the year. Yeah. So. Yeah, no good. Yeah, it's been like these, like you said, they're always out there helping. They're they're serving, you know, at the cabarets. They're doing a little. Uh, I remember back in the day we we talked last week about Brad Kirkland <laughs> being the bouncer <laughs> one year, back when he was playing hockey. But they're always doing that. They're helping out with the horse pull, uh, yeah. with the shingles all the time. Yeah, uh, helping out serving drinks and stuff like that. So yeah, they do a good job. Yeah, and it, it the the Rambler Hockey Club they're expected to come and help too, and it they're always there. Like it's uh, we all have fun doing it, mm-hmm. and it's a long weekend. It's uh, it's uh, okay. let's go through the rundown of the weekend. So it starts on Thursday night yeah. it, not officially but the ranch rodeo is on so Thursday. what is a ranch rodeo explain that for people because i know there's been a lot of people that i've talked to and, and they're like well what's going on at the rodeo well thursday night's a ranch rodeo and they're like well what's that it's right. the best part yeah it is a lot <laughs> of fun <laughs> yeah. actually, actually the ranch rodeo is more of the local people like local cowboys around okay and they're kind of showing some of their their stockmanship um and cowboy they like so, there's four events that we have. We have the, we call it cowboy or cattle rustling, and it's they they have to load the cattle into a trailer. Right. So, we so ha- they have to go through an obstacle course and and load the cattle into a trailer. So what kind of teams do you get in for stuff like that? Is this like fun throw together teams, or do you get people taking this pretty serious? Well, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah. Some teams are very serious, and then there's actually there was an all girls team there couple years ago and they just had a blast they and they they just about got in there and they they, almost won yeah so it was good it's so it's it's a lot of fun and we like what i like to do is is let those uh cowboys in our in our area um come and they're not gonna maybe compete in the in the rodeo part but they can come and have some fun because a lot of these these people they they rope at the at the arena in Melfort and in different places all winter, so it's kind of nice to, to let them come in and just have some fun. It's not about a bunch of money, and they don't have to travel long ways to compete. So. Yeah, and a lot of people go to that. Like yeah, it's, it it's, is. It's, it's kind of gained some traction and some it popularity. It used to be my favorite b- one night to go. Right. It was to the ranch rodeo. Yeah, is because it, it is fun when you can see people you know yeah. out there and it's like another local sports sporting event yeah. you know mm-hmm. it's a baseball for cowboys <laughs> right <you> go. <laughs> <laughs> so you got that one there's also the okay what's the one where they got to try to ride the is it a mare no what is it so they're, they're trying to ride we didn't we took that uh vanto we did the that was the uh saddle bronc they had to ride a saddle. Well, bronc. don't you? No, isn't or there the, one where you got the kids and then they all got a oh, like, the wild, the wild pony horse race. The wild, wild pony race. So what's that? Okay, Explain that's that. in that's in the rodeo. Part. Somebody has to bite an ear. Is that a thing? Yeah. Some, <laughs> so that that or is was that just a Solomon so thing. We, yeah, that is a Solomon <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's who brought the horses. So yeah. they're very wild. They're wild. But um, so on the wild horse race, we used to have that in the ranch rodeo, but it got. A uh, little crazy. The horses were pretty rank, and uh, oh, yeah. one of the one of the competitors, uh, he got his nose from a hoof of a horse. It uh, wiped the skin right off his nose. So it was, it was a close call, and so. Well, th- what do you expect when you're doing that? I know, that? and but the <laughs> next next year they kind of didn't want to do that, so just put hockey helmets we, on them or something. We kind of tamed it down a little bit, so we don't have as. But the wild you you were asking about the wild pony race, that's yeah. for the kids. Oh, okay. In the in the rodeos, so they have to be twelve and under, and 
and so they there's three on a team and then they they go out and and uh so one kid has to ride it for like three jumps and oh gotcha and they're they're little uh miniature horses and they are wild like, oh are yeah, they they're pretty rank so that's friday and saturday night that's in the yeah. r- actual rodeo that's when you have the mutton busting too yeah right? mutton yeah. busting that's that's entertaining that's those are all the cute. kids that you know like yeah. the little yeah. five six year old kids and they just arrived today we got them oh did the sheep yeah they're they're they they they're here so are they at your place yeah so. nice so hopefully we don't have any incidents like there is a few stories about the sheep but uh maybe we can yeah touch <laughs> on that a little later <laughs> well, tell, us tell us now no, what's, no. what's going on with the sheep well it is april fools right yeah okay well i don't it's got to be probably five or six years ago we um we had the sheep come in and it was a few days earlier so anyways they're in one of the pens and uh Every time you went by them, they're making a, their little noise, right? And so my dad said to me, he says, you better throw them some grain or something because my dad, he's always got to feed the, the stock, right? He's yeah. got to make everything happy. And so I took a five-gallon pail and I threw it over the fence and kept on walking. So the next morning I came out and it was April 1st. And I looked out in the pan and I couldn't believe my eyes, but there was six sheep with all four feet straight up in the air. <laughs> oh, <dead>. <laughs> Killed <laughs> the so, sheep. So I guess five gallons of grain is too much. <laughs> so and that's so so the next thing I I so I couldn't believe it. I was like walking around the pen and so I took my cell and I, I phoned Elmer right away, right? Yeah. I said, Elmer, this isn't an April Fool's joke, but we have six dead sheep. So, so we, uh, so we proceeded to, like, it was just not good. No. And, uh, so the, the next person we had to phone was the guy that owned the sheep. And it, so it, it cost us some money that year for the sheep. <laughs> we had to pay so, for some But sheep. we did, so we had to go find more sheep for the rodeo. <laughs> oh, man. But we had to, we did have enough by the time the rodeo started, but. Yeah. Tough on so, the sheep, days. So the sheep. Uh, so they just you overfed them. Is that what it was? Yeah, they just yeah. gorge themselves. Yeah, that's, that's what's gonna, gonna happen to you one yeah, day. Yeah, it's gonna happen to me. Steve always talks overeat. about being an overeater. I'm a can... glutton. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm gonna come in, in to do a podcast one day. You're gonna be all fours straight up on the living room floor <laughs> with a bag of nachos beside you. Well, remember that? Have you seen? Have you seen the movie Seven? <laughs> yeah. Where that guy's the guy eats himself to and death. He just, his stomach explodes and he's face down in his food. That's what you imagine <laughs> you're gonna be in my underwear. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. Hopefully, you at least have some underwear. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Saturday mornings. Nope. <laughs> Well, <laughs> did you ever, like, when did you first get involved in rodeo? You grew up doing it? Uh, no, I just, I enjoyed the rodeo part of it. And no, like, doing rodeo yourself. Like, have, like yeah, you've you never, no, I don't think you've never no, done rodeo. I've never competed, no. But never ever competed no. in any event in rodeo, no. and you're just the biggest I, cheerleader for yeah, it. Yeah, I guess so. That's awesome. But you've always I, been a cat, a cattle guy. Yeah, we have livestock at home, and. Yeah, that's what we do. It's the cattle industry. That's what we're in, and so. Oh yeah, if you ever go to Agribition with Bruce, he's yeah. ca- kind of a big deal. Let's not talk about Agribition. <laughs> can, okay. can, no. No. <laughs> why don't Wrong you want to? Wrong why rodeo. Why don't you want to? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of fun at Agribition. <laughs> Over the, yeah. Yeah, down in the swamp. I in feel swamp. like you have a lot of fun everywhere you go. Bruce. Have, you, have mm-hmm. you ever been to Agribition? I went, I, when I lived in Regina for a year, I went to Agribition one time. Yeah. I was dating a Salmon at that time. Mm-hmm. So we had to hit Agribition. Yeah. It was boring as hell for me. <laughs> I well, you were at the wrong part of Agribition, yeah, right. obviously. I, you were I at guess. the swamp. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I wasn't. I was with my boyfriend, so. <laughs> yeah. You experienced? I've experienced the, the swamp. swamp yeah. yeah. What's the swamp? It's a... It, well, it, I don't. It's a dungeon. It, it's a dungeon. It was a, this old. It was underneath the bleachers at the old what stadium? Yeah, at the old stadium, the yeah. Regina. What they call it? I don't even know what they called it. So the is Agrodome? This, is was this it the, the Agrodome? No, I don't know. Just they called it the stadium. If anybody knows out there what that old stadium was called, if it had a name, let us know. 
But yeah, underneath the bleachers, I set up this beer gardens, and it was old and dungy, and there's writing on the wall. Everybody oh, signed yeah. the wall over the years. I was down there. Yeah, really? oh yeah. It it was like and that was boring. And people are really people are Come blitzed on. out of their mind yeah. at like one, two in the <laughs> afternoon. Yeah, it's awesome. I don't know. I ran in. <laughs> it was funny. I went there with Brett Chelsberg one time, and uh, we ran into Earl uh, McCorson and and Mike. Uh, Evenson. Evenson and they were in there and they were feeling pretty good so we sat down with them for like five hours was I there I, I probably was there I don't know if you were there that year <laughs> well you, you when maybe it's you maybe when you're drinking in was a, there, I, I'm sure you might have been yeah when you're drinking in a dungeon like atmosphere like that you lose track of the time just like oh yes in the rambler room and how the, many drinks you have Del Romeo. in the rambler room right away she. <laughs> You got a riff right in. The right. Well, the because it sounds like a lot, pretty similar. Yeah, the description. So the rambler room. A, like, why does everybody want to go dungeon, hide? Though. You want to go hide when you're drinking at it, something like that. It sounds like. like well, that's where that's the clubhouse. Af, af, yeah, well, that's the clubhouse. It's the after sure. party, but it's throughout the whole thing. Like for the whole week. Yeah. Like. Like the after party never ends. Yeah. Steve, are you turning my microphone? I was just seeing down? which one was you. <laughs> This was what happens. I start talking too loud, and he turns me down. <laughs> that happens. So yeah, the Rambler Room is a thing of legend. There's, y- y- you got to be very special to get into the Rambler yeah, Room. Yeah, apparently, because none of us have ever been in it. <laughs> I've been in it once, and I, and I felt <laughs> like I shouldn't have been there. Really? <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> no, you're all welcome. Is to there be Rambler in there. Room alumni? Like, there's like the the steadies that are there all Mm-mm. the time. No. So has it changed? Because the Ramblers have a new room. So is the Rambler room the new Rambler room, or is no. it still the OG? We s- we still use the old room. Yeah. We we can't get rid of that. No. That's just we can't. It's like a speakeasy, and you got to find like the underground passage exactly. to the secret room. <laughs> Three knocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's been uh, a lot of nights come out of there, and a lot of rumors come out of there too. Probably. <laughs> You ever been involved in any no, of those? None. You're not, you keep your nose pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been daylight a lot of nights when you come out of there. <laughs> in the morning, it's uh, we, we stay there a little bit too long. It's all the same under the fluorescent lights, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Morning and night. 3 a.m. or 4 p.m. That's why Janelle loves rodeo so much. The party never ends. Is she never, you don't want it to. It yeah, never Janelle will. Janelle says yeah. she never wants to leave. <laughs> she doesn't. The cops told her to leave, and she wouldn't leave, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly. She's not saying nothing back yeah, there. Yeah, she's pretty quiet. So what's your favorite part of the rodeo? What's, like, some when people the like the bull riding, some people like watching, the, like, the mutton busting. What's your favorite part? And it doesn't have to be just rodeo part, because I think you were just going to say when the work is all done. Yeah, I was just going to say when it, when it's over. <laughs> When it's over. Yeah, but, but that's not true because you no, look forward to it. We do, yeah. Um, or just the feeling of satisfaction when it's all over. Yeah, it is. On the Saturday night when the rodeo is over and we're having some drinks at the cabaret, it, it is. It's uh, Everybody had a good time yeah, and it was another and successful. For sure. Yeah. No, it's uh, one of my favorite events is the Saddle Bronc riding, but um, I guess, yeah. Steve, you're just staring it, at yeah, him. Yeah, I'm just wondering. I'm curious. <laughs> That's not my favorite. What, what's your what's my your favorite, favorite? Is the Kel- or the bikini bull riding? No, what's it? Called? Is it <laughs> is what? That Who? A thing? Are we doing that this year? Is that a thing? <laughs> Maybe. Why don't on you the mechanical bull? <gasps> yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is well, new. We're gonna start something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got we got to talk about this. So new this year for in, everybody that's gone to rodeo before. The beer gardens has always been up in the Hanover room on That's Friday right. afternoon and Saturday during the day. That's right. That's changing now. With all the lights turned on all the time, super bright. No, no. Dim. <laughs> so this year, you're going to have it down in the auditorium. Oh, That's right. really? That's right. In the ba- in the John Barron Auditorium. Right. Uh, so there's going to, it's bigger. Right. You're encouraging people to come down earlier because there's mm-hmm. going to be a little entertainment. Right. What's the entertainment? Well, Steve's gonna play some music. I didn't, but that's we well, have that's, the, that's we, not the have, main attraction. No, I know we have a mechanical bull coming this year, and we're gonna have it in the beer gardens. And then on Friday, um, we're gonna have a little sponsor 
ride off from about four to seven before the rodeo. How do you enter in that? Because I feel like I want to enter in that. Well, you could represent P and H maybe. Oh, you could ride for higher. Yeah, rider, I, rider for rider, higher. rider for. Each, oh, is that how it works? Like a sponsor. sponsor has to provide a rider. Yeah. yeah. So Steve will be no, riding I'm for P and H. Why not? No. Yeah, I'll be on the. I'll be on the tunes. <laughs> Can I pick my ride song then? Yeah, yeah. I think everybody should. You sh- everybody should have a ride song. Yeah, you got to come to the DJ booth an hour before you ride and provide the ride song. Mine'll be there. Crazy Bitch by Buck <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> 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 yeah, what time is that at? Starting at four uh, on Friday. On Friday. But when is the ride off? Four till seven. Oh, the yeah. oh that long. Yeah, because you're doing it as well, a bracket, right? Yeah, we're just it, oh, like a so, tournament. Yeah, mm-hmm. some people might not make it till six or whatever. But Jan- Janelle, we're doing it. Well, you can ride for Edwards Livestock. You know again. what you should do after that? You should have it open to other people to ride, and you have to pay ten bucks to ride. Well, you can do it any time after, too. Oh, just for free? Well, I guess. For, yeah. Are you, she, are you, she wants in the tournament. She wants in yeah. the tournament. I totally do. <laughs> I totally do. I think that would fun would be fun. Have you ever ridden a mechanical bull before? I've never ridden one. There's got to be some kind of, like, real strategy to it. I think you're, like, hips. And yeah. You've got to keep your forward. upper body sit solid forward. and just move your... From your waist down, right? You got to keep pretty stiff on top, don't you think? Yeah. Depends what they have for a handle. Because I've seen different kinds and some are not. Where are you renting this thing from? It's from Manitoba. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're excited for that, for sure. Is Purilator bringing it, she says? I hope not. (laughs) (laughs) No, No, they're bringing it. They're going to run it because I wouldn't want. So, so they come and set it they up and set run it, it all up. And yeah, that's good. And yeah, and then the beer gardens too. Uh, Jay's gonna have food. He's Ooh. gonna so we're gonna have some finger food and she's cooking out of the kitchen. Yeah, that's awesome. That that's sounds like so good. much fun. Yeah, I think I'm pitting in for when is it open? That's Thursday night. It and starts Friday night. Starts at three on Friday. On Friday. On Friday. And three until Til cabaret that, time. Yeah, that's right. And then what time on Saturday? We're going to start, we hope that everything with our liquor permits that we can start at noon. Noon on Saturday yeah. until cabaret time. Yeah. Holy. The mechanical bull on Saturday. Can starts. a guy get in some practice time on the mechanical bull before the competition starts? We'd have to probably see some cash. <laughs> Steve, pay the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that'll be a what good What kind of playlist are you going to be rocking that night, Steve? You know, I've been putting some some uh, thought into that. Have you? Yeah, Googling bull riding jams. But are you you're just playing for that part? No, the whole time. Like yeah. but I'm not I'm not de- I'm just going to have a playlist. Going. I know, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. Cuz yeah. I asked you about this earlier. Like do you stick to mo- mostly cowboy shit? Like oh, country? No, 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 you got to no, no. you got to need some rock. That's you know, what yeah, I was yeah, thinking. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you got to you got to mix it up cuz that's how Have you ever been to a PBR? Yeah, it's all. No. There's no. Country. It's all over it's the all, place. Yeah, yeah. There's some country. Yeah, the odd one. Our announcer for our rodeo, he told me he's got playlists of like a thousand songs, and it's, I wouldn't say half of them. Yeah, would be kind. It's country. not it's the all, right vibe. It's all like no. you said, like Buck, Buck Cherry, shit. Crazy yeah. Bitch, yeah. and AC DC, and and want to uh, get the crowd pumped up. You want yeah. the same music for strippers as you do for rodeo. Uh, or ho- like hockey games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Strippers. You're not playing Pony by uh, Genuine. <laughs> Aren't you, though? <laughs> <laughs> maybe when you, maybe that's when you're walking out to the bowl. Like <laughs> oh, now I'm going to a totally different place with it in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, what else is going on for... Rambler Rodeo. So the, the one of the my favorite events of the Rambler Rodeo is eating smokies at midnight. Is the sponsors <laughs> is the sponsors auction. Oh yeah, for the heavy horse. For pull. the heavy horse pull. Yeah. When and that that will be in the beer gardens on sponsors on, on sponsors Friday auction. Night. And then the heavy horse pull itself is is a pretty cool event. It is. 
those horses. Have you seen that before? I have watched bits and pieces of it, but I didn't realize how much their interest there is in it. Like people, that's the one thing they don't want to miss every year. No, it's it's cool. Like, well, they're so huge and yeah. beautiful and, and powerful. powerful. Yeah, yeah, it just they are. it's neat to see the power those things have. What do we got here? Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Bruce Chapansky. What does he say? I cannot believe you guys got Bruce in front of the microphone. Unfreaking believable. He's a natural. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You <laughs> got a new gig? Thanks, Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> yeah. Bruce squared here. Yeah. Bruce squared. <laughs> is Bruce doing the the auction? Bruce, you want to do the auction? Bruce is doing the auction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We like, need we need an answer right now, Bruce. You got to reply. <laughs> That's it's right. either that or you're riding the mechanical bull. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Bruce, <laughs> yeah, that's right. For his own, for Bruce Chapansky yeah. auction years. He, he is a sponsor and always is a sponsor. Yeah, so. you get to pick. You're doing the auction or you're riding the bull. Yeah. Well, who's the entertainment this year for the cabarets? What's, oh, uh, we, we, we do have a poster. It's uh, Odd Man Out. And uh, Odd Man Out is on Saturday. And... What's the Friday? Steve. Jeez, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's Steve not very again. good. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can't read it. Kings and Renegades. Kings and Renegades. It's Friday. So, which, okay, this is the one age old argument that we always go through every year for a rodeo, for the cabaret, which is the best night to go. Because the older crowd. It's Friday. Yeah, the older crowd is it's always Friday, like Friday. For sure, Friday. For me. There's not even a question. Oh, I love them both. Well, Steve always li is they're likes both, to be in the middle. They're different because I, I find the, uh, I find usually the better bands on Saturday. Oh yeah, usually, I, and I don't know. I I've, I haven't seen both of those, but I, I shouldn't say that. the The more, the more I th I find the more dancey bands on Saturday. But you know, Bainch was gonna get mad at me because they always used to play on Friday. <laughs> 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 I guess the, like a newer, different band that I haven't heard before plays on Saturday. So I was like checking that out. And there's usually more people there on Saturday. Oh, yeah. It's usually a bigger it's thing. A, there's more out of town. Young, it's a younger crowd on Saturday for sure. Yeah, people come from out of town and the university kids come yeah. home and, and, you know, the farmers from Arbor Field to come. And, and I... Th I think it's going to be huge this year too. Everybody wants to get out. Everybody's so excited. So we're we're looking forward to it. So yeah, we're well, ready. I think I'll ride the bull. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bruce. Bruce. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, okay. we saw we saw a salmon in the ditch on the way up here. Neil. Uh, no, he wasn't the one in the ditch. It was Wade, Wade and Kim. They stopped because we were rescuing a friend of ours in the ditch, Steve and I. That's why you had to come late tonight. I know. You just those, had to have one extra drink. So those roads are waiting, waiting. something else. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal, if Bruce gets on the mechanical bull, we might have to come. Been a few years since we've been to the good old Tisdale Rodeo. Yes, Crystal, you should come. Crystal actually bailed on plans with me the other weekend. So I think she owes me one. Come ride the mechanical bull with me, Crystal. That'll be a good time. <laughs> Actually, Crystal drives a chuck wagon. Did you see yeah. the yep. interview I did with her? Yep. So I've, I, I keep saying, uh, Gee, Kara's you calling you sexy that. right now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I keep saying I want to I wanna do a video where I ride in the back of Crystal chuck wagon. In well, this our summertime. new camera does have uh, stability in in it, so maybe yeah, that, it'll do it. <laughs> Strap a GoPro <laughs> on, yeah, just yeah, shaking like a. So where does all the stock shit. come from for the rodeo? So our contractors from uh, uh, Blaine, it's Blaine Fison from Asquith, and he's been with us for quite a few years now, probably ten years, and Blaine they put on PBRs too. And him and Jason Davidson, he's a partner with that. And they're in, like, huge with PBRs. So Blaine is very good. He's all about the production of the rodeo. And he he wants it done right. He he's always wants it done quick. And people, you know, it's it's it's, it's entertainment. Yeah. And, and he does a very good job. And he's real. He's awesome to deal with. Yeah. So. Well-oiled machine. Have yeah. you using? Do you do you use the same ones every year? 
Same uh, guys? The contractors? Yeah. 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 So, and he does some subcontracting too, but it's Blaine who we deal with. So oh, it's yeah. good. Yeah, very good. So is this rodeo on part of a circuit? Yeah, this is a, it's uh, the Canadian Cowboys Association. It's a CCA. And it's mostly in Saskatchewan, a little bit into Alberta. Um, I don't know how many rodeos they have anymore, but we're one of the first rodeos of the year. And so we have, there's 160 contestants um, entered. They entered on Monday and they're, it's a little bit down on a few events, but with COVID there was lots of, the young kids were kind of just kind of ramping up when it, when we uh, canceled our rodeo two years ago. So there's lots of young kids actually taking schools now and they're, um, they're starting to, um, they're coming up, but it's just a little too early for, for some of them. So in our horse events, like the saddle bronc and the bareback, we're a little short, but we're going to have actually those cowboys, they're going to ride twice. Oh yeah. On the same night. And they'll enter, they have to enter twice. So they're actually doubling their odds. They're, so they're, they can they can win first and second. Oh, and okay. So it's kind of we're just trying to make make the show better and and uh, we, we know that those those events will be back better yeah. and stronger later on next year probably so. Well, perfect. and it's good that everybody's getting back to it now. Are there yeah. any shows that didn't come back this year? I'm not sure. We're early, so I'm not sure if there's some that are canceling, but we um we love doing it, so we're, we're going to be there for a long haul. So, Do you know of, are there any kind of local competitors or anybody from around this yeah, area? Yeah, there's, well, there's quite a few, actually. Um, in the time, to, like, there's quite a few barrel racers that are in in the rodeo, so. Yeah, the Bowditches have been doing that oh for a yeah, long time. Oh, yeah, they're right? in it. The um, girls. The girls are in. Um, and there's, there's quite a few. I had... I think probably twenty five or thirty local entries. So, so that's northeast, or yeah, north. Uh, yeah, that's uh, okay. Good. So is that is that? There used to be a guy that worked out at Louis Drives. He's not there anymore. Uh, and he rode bulls. What was his name? Cole. Yeah, is Trundell, he works is he, for me. Oh, does he? Yeah, he's gonna ride a bull. Is he's, he? He's back at her, Cole. <laughs> so we have a bet to see how long he's gonna ride. So has he ever done eight seconds? I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> maybe maybe. But but he used to he used to do the circuit didn't he yeah one he time? did yeah, yeah. so yeah, he's he he has so no I fear of that it, guy I told him I'd pay his entry fee and what give is her, he give what, her a good shot what is the entry fee for those contestants it's a hundred bucks okay but we added a thousand for each event so like a thousand in the payout yeah oh, okay so then it's like a jackpot so you, their entry fee goes into the pot right and then it's divided in. The, Divided out after that. Okay, I've never, I've never known that before. So it's, it's, we, we do pay out a lot, a lot of money on it too. So. Yeah. So do the same competitors do Friday night and Saturday night, or no. it's different both nights? Different. So they, so they have ride one, Friday night and then they shot. take off. Yeah. And so a lot of these cowboys, like we're the only one on this weekend, but in the summer when they're really rolling, they'll they'll hit three rodeos in a weekend. Yeah. So. Especially the ropers, eh? Probably yeah, more so. Just, yeah, well, all of them. They, yeah. if there's three rodeos or four or five rodeos, they'll hit them all. And they'll be traveling, you know, lots of miles in between. So. Have you ever seen competitors in the Rambler rodeo that went on to bigger ones like the Stampede or anything? Have you ever known any of those guys? Oh, I'm sure. What's um? Well, she won the. What's her name? Bertina. From? Yeah, Olafson. Yeah, she she competed. In I've been wanting to get her on. And yeah, she, and she won the Calgary Stampede this year. Yeah, in barrel racing. She so. used to be my sister-in-law. Really? Yeah, that was Tyler's sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's such a great person, or she is Tyler's sister. Used to, <laughs> used to yeah. be Tyler's sister. <laughs> you say used to a lot. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of used to's in my past, Bruce. <laughs> No, I'm not going <laughs> to knock. Sorry, Bruce, I'm not going <laughs> to knock. He's always selling as he is driving down the no, road. I'm, no, I'm not. Jackie Arneson, she yeah, competes? Yeah, she's in. Jackie's in. Yeah. And Mackie. Oh, yeah. Macklin, her, her daughter, so. 
And actually, a um, little local thing is um, um, Foster Arneson. Mm-hmm. Is, he's in the junior steer riding. And so they wanted to do, do junior steer riding. So we're doing just a little bit of a local uh, junior steer riding. And uh, so Foster and a two or three, there's four of them. Each night are going to be doing the junior steers. So oh yeah. So that's that's kind of lo- that's real local. Yeah. Right? So so what what's the ticket sales like this year? Are you sold out for rodeo? No, we don't we don't say that word sold out. <laughs> no such no. thing. There's no. always room to stick <laughs> somebody. <laughs> but there's there's yeah. lots of there's lots of rush seats left. Yeah. Um, we, we don't like that rumor. I always, it kind of stresses me out when people say, well, it's sold out. Well, it's not. And there's always a ticket. And so why would they get the idea that it was sold out then? I'm not sure, but if it's close to sold out, like the numbered seating, there's, there's, I, I, uh, I think there's, it's gotta be a hundred rushed or more. Oh yeah. Oh, so okay. there's lots of rush tickets and I just, I just don't like that because people think, well, I'm not, I'm not even going to try. Yeah. It's probably sold out, so I'm not even going to try to go. Yeah. We'll so if you want to go to the, if we'll you want to go to the rodeo, you'll get them in. Well, it, it's, we have guidelines, but right. we, we will, we will get. <laughs> You're sending mixed messages no, here, No, but Bruce. we can't go over the guidelines, <laughs> but we've never sold, sold right out. Kara asks who's mutton busting, but I think that's. Like who hasn't been tempted? Is that to sexual break, innuendo? Who Kara? hasn't been tempted to break <laughs> in and ride a sheep at the end of the night oh, after the rodeo? After dance? the cat parade. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You can't say funny story and then there's not tell it. Probably, there's probably video out there. <laughs> I, actually, I know there is, but <laughs> okay. Uh, they. The sheep used to stay, Bruce, right? In the, in like the during the cab- cabaret. Yeah, yeah so. They one totally of my, did. One of my buddies decided that, yeah, it's time to let the sheep out at the end of the night into the crowd. And I, but <laughs> into I th- the crowd. Into the crowd. Into the dance. Of drunk people. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, I think they worked their way, but Big Sexy was a bouncer. Uh-huh. And he caught wind of this. Oh. And ended up shutting it down, I think, is what happened. So I don't know if they got loose or he not. He caught the first sheep and the other ones all got scared and <laughs> ran back to the pen. <laughs> I remember standing there. The lights go on. I'm usually shoving a hot dog into my <laughs> mouth and <laughs> just watching. And look. The door opens and you're freezing. Well, and yeah, and then... You see the livestock or the sheep or whatever, they, and, it, and it's like, well, that's the next natural thing to do is cause some trouble. Yeah. Ride a um, sheep. Courtney asks, can you purchase online? Can you purchase online? Tickets? No, everything's uh, at high fashion. So you could probably f- you could probably phone them, phone high fat. Like if you live out of town. Yeah, rush yeah. seating. So I don't know if anybody can hear Janelle, but she said you can go into high fashion and pick your seats, or you could show up the night of rodeo and get rush seating, and then you just right. Yeah, right. So Courtney, just if you, come and try. If you want to come, just come, come to, to the rodeo. rodeo. Bring your kids. Come to the rodeo. Yeah, we'll get you in. Well, <laughs> Bruce, Bruce will get you. Wow. So we'll what's Courtney in, yeah. what's yeah. the trade show looking for this like? You got a lot of booths entered. Yeah, we had, we have the curling rink is is full. Oh so yeah, perfect. Yeah, so we have a var- variety of stuff in there. So and then you can head over to the uh, auditorium and to the beer gardens. Come to the have a beverage and green, a dance. Green bin direct. That's what the it's green called. bin direct beer green, gardens. Yeah, that's right. So speaking Devo, of speaking Devin. of dancing. D- are you much of a dancer, Bruce? No. Really? No. Well, I can two step a little yeah, bit. Can <laughs> yeah, can you? Yeah. Well, do Not you dance? Do you dance at this thing? Do you take your wife for a spin out there, or what? She's allergic to uh, horses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need. This is my free weekend pass. 
This is Bruce Edwards yeah. Hall Pass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she it's knows it. She's probably watching right now. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah. No, she uh she can't handle it. So What's your favorite song to two step to? Oh my god. You gotta have everybody no, has I one. don't have a favorite two step. You don't? No. Like a song that comes on and just gets your toe tapping and you're just like, oh, yeah, I got to find a woman and get out there. No? What the hell? Steve, what's yours? I like, it's not a two-step song. It's more of a, it's like a sexy polka song. Is, oh, sexy is polka. Eddie Money. I love the rainy night. That's my jam. <laughs> That's, it's a sexy polka. It's like a slow polka. We've talked about that. I uh, Yeah. I just forgot the term sexy polka. You yeah. should... Hashtag that. So it's not like a Ukrainian. So are you gonna play that at the beer gardens or what? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. And maybe just watch the flood of women coming up to the yeah. DJ booth to ask me to dance. And here we got a sexy polka going on to all the ladies. <laughs> all the ladies. <laughs> First one up gets a free sexy polka. Well, yeah. I'm disappointed to hear that, Bruce. I'm not allergic, so I'll be there. All Maybe right. I'll take you for a spin. All right. Sounds we'll good. We'll see if you're any good. What else you got on your notes there? You sure Holy came prepared. I did. I was kind of worried about this. <laughs> I really was. It's not so bad, though, eh? For, no, somebody, it's all good. for somebody so worried, you sure said yes in a hurry. No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Did I you have to really no, he gave, work on it? He's him? like, I got to check in with. Dion and see if we got well, anything going we on. I was wasn't sure if we we're going to Saskatoon or not. Oh yeah, the roads kept you home. Yeah, but you did and calving. Oh, and calving I did, season. And I told him, I said, like, I had a cow calving. Like, so it's a no go. Well, you guys could come out. You could bring all this stuff out there. And yeah, go on He's location. <laughs> we should. We could on do location. content, Steve. <laughs> that would be. That would be. Something. It wouldn't be probably very good. <laughs> No. Have you ever pulled a calf, Steve? Never in my life. Would you like to try? Yeah. Why don't you get them out there? Sometime in my, in my life. I've gone elbows deep in there before. Yeah. I think it's something that we would be. We cows. Okay, well, you're in. Okay. You get you get next weekend shift. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You can hold the placenta. You're going to come home and like... <laughs> What happened to all my calves? <laughs> They'll all That's be tits yeah. up like the sheep. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like the sheep. Yeah. I, I just overfed them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Cool. No, what I tell my cows when I leave in. What I tell <laughs> on, my cows? On Thursday, I said, <laughs> you're on your own for all weekend. Yeah. yeah don't do anything I wouldn't do. Do yeah. they listen? No, they don't listen at all. <laughs> do, have you had to go and, oh, and yeah. tend to your cattle when you're wasted? Has that happened before? That has happened, yeah. It's not very good. No? You're stumbling and the cow's chasing you and it's not very pretty and it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the middle of the night. And Sounds like an adventure. Yeah. All right, Steve. Well. <laughs> good stuff. You're making me nervous over there. You're making weird faces. and. No, I'm just trying to get the... Touching buttons. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, anything else about rodeo that we want to know? We want to tell the, the masses. I'm just excited, right? Just yeah, get everybody out there. It's going to be good. Bring it back and make it the best one ever. I think this is going to be one we don't want to miss. Yeah. It is. It's going to be full. Yeah. It seems like people are really committed to t like taking it, finally taking advantage of these things. Like this is so great for the community. It's so great for all the businesses around here, all the people, morale, it's and you know one thing we we do have great sponsors we do and they're behind us all the way yeah and it's easy to like we talk to them about sponsorship and they're just like we're in they they know what it brings to to our town and and so it's easy like, so we that's why we want to have this little sponsorship little deal on on friday before the rodeo and and have that little we want to have some fun with them and yeah, and show our let them to get something out of it. Yeah, well, it and and we we do have some VIP tickets. So who? Er, so I haven't talked to Pat about this, but I think he knows it's coming. But him and someone else is going to be the judge, and they have to judge the rides, and score them, <laughs> and then so then this is going to whoever wins, we have VIP tickets for Saturday night. For the rodeo. For the rodeo. So, oh. so what does a VIP ticket entail? Yeah. 
Well, we're what's that? What? Well, it's very good seats. It's box seats. Oh, box seats. Oh yeah, in the rack place. In the music. In like the in music. The, oh, yeah. Box. oh yeah. And some s- little food and beverage, maybe. Yeah. You bet. Yeah, we're licensed all the way around, so yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe foot rub. Who's giving that's the foot some, rub? Some service. That, that's what happens that's in the Rambler room. That's a <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'd rather have VIP tickets to the Rambler room if we're being honest right now. <laughs> no foot rub. So. Well, that'll be good. So that just okay. So uh, the sponsors. Oh, I had one more thing I was going to ask. About uh, about that, but you can't remember, I can't remember it now. It. Sorry. You just totally killed the flow. Uh, yeah, that's that's bad flow kill. Well, what were you gonna ask about sponsors? Who are your biggest sponsors? Anybody yeah, let's notable? let's give them a shout out to the to the, to the majors. To the majors. Get your poster out, Steve. Well, you you go through it, Bruce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. And and <laughs> let, we're not we're not saying. I feel like this is a bad episode of Wayne's World right now. <laughs> we should say though that we appreciate every sponsor. Oh, we do. Actually, I don't know if I don't know if we have to say because they all Maybe know not. they all know like if they're a major or event sponsor, it's yeah we appreciate them all. They know who they are. Um, we put it out there, and um, that's what I think. Like. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Or you want me to? You don't have to go through them. There's a lot of them. There is. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's bad for. Okay. Bad for. We're not going to mention. We don't want to miss somebody. We're not going to mention any of the sponsors of the Rambler Rodeo, but get down and see it. And I will mention somebody tonight because I wanted to do it at the beginning and I didn't work it in. But uh, what's his name? (laughs) From Stat Towing. Nick. Nick from Stat Towing. Thank you very much, buddy. You saved me tonight, and I totally appreciate it. And he was great, and he came out no questions asked right away with a whole big crew. Yeah, he brought the whole. Ba- he yeah. brought like all the four of them. Yeah, all of them. And yeah, and like two trucks and a bunch of guys, and they were there within ten minutes. And he did a great job, and I'm sure we're neither the first nor the last people he helped today. So yeah. he's been a integral part of this yeah. community all winter totally and that's what we're getting at with like community you know you know somebody you know who the person is it just makes it so much better so get out and meet all these people that are in your community that are supporting the things that are going on that yeah. are they're putting on events just for the love of it they're in our new sponsor too. they're one of your sponsors yeah, they're well, there you a go. new sponsor yeah this year, so. awesome perfect yeah. all right well we'll see you next week Next weekend at the right. Rambler Rodeo, Bruce Edwards, thanks for coming out. And uh, have a good time at the rodeo. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks. Hey, it's Andrea Luke. Official.